Hi, I'm Linda Walker Burton and I live in Dudley. I've spent the past year of my life learning ballet, which was a huge jump forward for me in my life. I learned the discipline and some of the skills of professional dancers and then performed the role of Tybalt in the ballet Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet is a tale about how ignorance and bigotry can lead to the destruction of lives and of the community. I'm on a journey to find out what we can do to prevent these things from happening here. This is my first stop, the North Prairie, a rundown estate facing complete regeneration. I'm Lyndon. I'm Wendy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what's been happening around here? Well, basically, um, there was a high level of antisocial behaviour. Yeah. So what we did was we set up an engagement project. It's okay. lasted for 18 months. Um, the young people, it was needs led. So yeah. we just opened the doors and let it happen, really, but controlled it. All right. It I'm, uh, I'm Linda. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, I'm Emma. Hey. Hello, I'm Stefan. For 18 months, 80 young people used this building as a place to simply meet and talk. So, tell me about this place. Well, really? So long. Yeah. But did they give us enough time to make anything out of it? We was always been in trouble before, but now, because of this, we've changed loads. Yeah. Well, how? Because I've got an asbo and I have been arrested for it quite a bit, like, and yeah. this was the best bit. Parts of the north of Dudley have a reputation for antisocial behaviour and even race crime. But I found that just being heard can soften resentment. Do you think that by you being able to talk to each other and get get the problems off your chest, yeah, it's helping you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. lots. Lose. You just if you've you got a problem and yeah. you can speak to someone, it don't make you go out and think, oh, well, I can do this and I can do that because yeah. no one listens to me anyway. Yeah. And when like, we've got people to talk to, we don't fit, we don't we are bad against other people and yeah. do things to other people because nobody's listening to us. Yeah. I think you three are the leaders. Yeah. If you be strong, you will make it through. You will. And you bring the rest of your, your friends along with you. Yeah. Thanks. It was nice Bye. talking to you. Bye. See ya. Good luck. I think they need a voice. They really do need a voice because at the end of the day, politicians and the government, they can all say what they want, but it's these people, the youth, the youth themselves that know what they need and what they want. My next stop is a community centre in life. Hey, can I help? Yeah, sure. Oh, wash your hands then. And we'll some sweet peppers here, what you can chop up for us. Brilliant. <laughs> so Tamina, what are you doing here today? Uh, on International Women's Day, we always come here together, all the ladies, all different cultures, we're always here, sharing ideas, sharing our cooking tips, and uh, trying, have a chance to try different things from different countries. I never knew how to make dumplings, and uh, I just learned from Masia, yeah. What difference does it actually make for you all to come together as a group and cook? By doing this, we've, we've all been united today. Mm. Different cultures have come together to share. So something like this, I mean, it's so small, but in a bigger picture and on a bigger scale, how do you think it has an impact? I think it's easier to start on a small scale maybe than go straight to the big picture, although that might be your final aim, mm -hmm. because obviously this way everybody can get involved. I really enjoyed that, really enjoyed it. I think as families we don't sit together and eat enough and as communities we don't sit together and eat enough so we all need a starting point someplace and maybe this is it. The Over End Methodists in Cradley have two visitors. Sitting beside me is Waka, who's here to talk about Islam. So Waka is going to come and talk to us. I understand there is something called Nashid. In Islam, we have something very similar to uh, the hymns and carol singing called Nashid, and it's not about something that brings excitement or that can you know, take you away from your senses, but it's all about your faith and, and, and how you bring that into your faith. There's tea, coffee and mince pies and biscuits. Yeah, it's, in the, the, um, uh, it's a green light Muslim youth forum. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the second time that um, we have a brother from the Muslim faith 
to come and talk to the congregation here. So Waka, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for inviting me. I think it's very important, especially with the, uh, the current climate happening nationally. We, we actually live in a smaller global village now. Uh, and there's a lot of misperceptions that people have about faith groups and bringing people together because there's so many commonalities between the different faith groups are so common and, and similar. And it's important that people can understand each other's you know, point of views and where people come from. So is it really all that simple? I, I don't think so because um, th this is one of the few churches which is very open, which is ready to reach out to people from uh, other faiths. So. There are churches, I would, I would be very reluctant to invite our brother to. There are many churches, but there are also many people within our own faith who would find it difficult to go uh, uh, and learn and share uh, experiences. And then fears kind of grow, and it's breaking those fears. I mean, you can come together and talk. It's the start of a process, right? And then and, people and, get yeah, to learn, and, yeah. And it takes time to develop. Yeah, I mean, because, it, it, uh, it's yes. not an overnight fix, you no, know. No, it isn't at all. Hi, Lyndon, how are you? My journey ends Welcome. with Kershid Ahmed, chairman of the Dudley Community Partnership. Well, Kershid, I've met some interesting people and they've shown me just how powerful simple little things can be. I mean, how do you feel about that? Well, I think that's, that, 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 that's right. Um, the ordinary things of the day are the real bedrock of uh, what we're the, all about. So do you think it can actually help um, with things such as extremism and racism? Oh, I think it can, but let's not be naive about it. There are some real issues in society today. There is a lot of polarization, there's a lot of mistrust, there's a lot of fear uh, of each other uh, generated by sometimes global events and sometimes the extremism um, from the far right or from various religious minorities. Uh, but I do uh, know that ultimately you know, we, we will find the answers in, in the ordinary uh, things and that is the unique selling point for Dudley's uh, uh, sort of so-called model of community cohesion yeah. is that people are confident in going about in their ordinary um, daily lives, interacting with each other and, and, and trying to uh, see people for what they are, rather than um, what the media or these extremists would have us believe. I've met some fantastic people, and I now realise that they all have one thing in common, and that's courage. It takes courage to be different and to change both our individual lives and the world itself. But. As Kershid said, we can't be naive about things because there are still major issues that we need to deal with. So what's the connection? I think the courage it takes to do the simple things is the same courage we'll need to tackle the hardest problems we have in society today.